So, let us solve one of the most important problems on properties of triangle. It carries 7 marks in the examination. So, first let us go through the question. After that we shall make a plan. See, in order to solve a problem, first let us make a plan. After that we have to execute it to arrive at the solutions here. So, first in a triangle ABC, if R1 is equal to 8, R2 is equal to 12, R3 is equal to 24, we need to find out the elements of the triangle that is nothing but sides of the triangle A, B, C. That means length of the sides of the triangle we need to find out. So that means as we know the R1 and R2 and R3, first one question will arise in our mind. How could you evaluate, evaluate delta value? So unless and until we know the small r and s, the delta can be evaluated. So that means, if r1, r2, r3 is are given, can we find out r value? That is the first step. So that means, it is a plan we shall make like this. It is a plan. Step 1. So first to find small r value. So, using 1 by r is equal to this relation 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3. With the help of this we can find out r value. Step 2. In step 2, we find out delta that is means to find delta. So, how could you find delta with the help of R value, R1 value, R2 value, R3 value? So, we have delta square is equal to R into R1 into R2 into R3. Already R1, R2, R3 have been given for us, provided for us, but R we have evaluated step 1. So, using step 1, the delta value can be evaluated. So, next plan, step 3. To find S, to find S, see S is equal to delta by R. In step 3, we know the delta. In step 1, we have R, so that S value can be evaluated. Now, in order to find out A, B, C, last step, we need to recall to find small a, small b, small c. So, R1 formula. R2 for R1 is delta by S minus A, R2 formula delta by S minus B, R3 formula delta by S minus C. So, this is the our planning. We divide the planning. So, if you execute this planning, definitely we get the A, B, C values. So, this is called the problem solving techniques. So, now let us solve it. Given R1 is equal to 8, R2 is equal to 12, R3 is equal to 24. Step 1, we have to find out uh, R value that is we know that one by r equals to one by r1 plus one by r2 plus one by r3. So this can be formulated yourself. Just you try as a practice. So now this one by r equals to one by eight plus one by twelve plus one by twenty-four. Simple addition of the fractions. What will be the LCM here? 8, 12, 24 means it may be LCM is what we can write. Let us write LCM, let us take it now. 8, 12, 24. 
फोर टू जा फोर थ्री जा फोर सिक्स जा अगेन ट्राई विथ थ्री टू वन टू 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 जा फोर फोर थ्री जा ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व फोर जा फोर्टी एट सो फोर्टी एट इज द एल सी एम ओके नाउ एट सिक्स जा सिक्स ट्वेल्व फोर जा फोर टू सिक्स प्लस फोर इज टेन ट्वेल्व बाई फोर्टी एट ट्वेल्व वन जा ट्वेल्व फोर जा दिस इज वन बाई फोर एज वन बाई आर इज इक्वल टू वन बाई फोर वॉट विल बी द आर वैल्यू यस यू आर करेक्ट आर इक्वल्स टू फोर इन स्टेप वन आर वन वैल्यू हैव बीन एवेल्युएटेड इन स्टेप टू वी कैन फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एस और बिफोर गोइंग टू एस वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट डेल्टा ओके सो डेल्टा सो वी नो दैट डेल्टा स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू आर इंटू आर वन इंटू आर टू इंटू आर थ्री सो नाउ दिस डेल्टा स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू आर वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच फोर फोर टाइम्स एट टाइम्स ट्वेल्व टाइम्स ट्वेंटी फोर वाई शुड यू राइट लाइक दिस आर वन स्टैंड फॉर एट आर टू स्टैंड फॉर ट्वेल्व आर थ्री स्टैंड फॉर ट्वेंटी फोर दे आर द गिवेन वैल्यूज so now delta is equal to root over 4 times 8 times 12 times 24 so this we can write 4 into 4 into 2 into 12 into 24 this again we can write root of 24 into 2 24 into 4 this we can write uh, As a pair, the products we have twenty-four times four, so ninety-six square units. Delta is equal to ninety-six. This is step two. S value. S is equal delta by R. What is delta? Delta is ninety-six. R value is this one, four. So ninety-six by four. फोर वन जा फोर टू जा एट फोर फोर जा ट्वेंटी फोर एस इज ट्वेंटी फोर नाउ वी नो दैट आर वन इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा बाय एस माइनस ए सो एस माइनस ए इक्वल्स टू डेल्टा बाय आर वन वी कैन राइट इट कैन वी राइट लाइक दिस Now s is replaced by twenty-four minus y equals to delta is ninety-six. What does R one stand for? R one stand for this is eight. So eight, eight one ja, eight twelve ja. This is a linear equation in one variable. Twenty-four minus a is equal to twelve. So a is equal to twenty-four minus twelve. That is twelve. now a value has been evaluated so now let us find out r2 and r3 now r2 r2 is equal delta by s minus b okay that implies s minus b is equal to delta by r2 so now s value is how much 24 So twenty four minus b delta is ninety six r two is twelve twelve one ja twelve eight ja correct so twenty four minus b is equal to eight it's a linear equation in one variable b so we have to solve for b so b equals to we can write twenty four minus eight this is sixteen so b value has been obtained. So now let us find out R three. So that means we have to recall R three value. That is delta by s minus c. Correct? S minus c is equal delta by R three. What does s stands for? S stands for this twenty four. So twenty four minus c equals to delta is ninety six. 
whereas R3 is 24. Correct? So 24. 24 4 is 4. So 24 minus c is equal to 4. This is a linear equation in one variable c. So we need to find out c. c equals to 24 minus 4 which equal to 20. So therefore a, b and c values have been adopted. Here actually obtained. a, b and c values have been adopted. Sorry, repeat once again. Adopted this a. Good, good, go. So now here a equals to 12, b equals to 16, c equals to 20. So in this way a, b, c values have been obtained. 